there were 18 armies or 18 akshaunis of sena which participated in the mahabharata war seven of them were of the pandavas and 11 of them were from the kaurava side so the 18 akshaunis came to the kurukshetra battlefield and fought the war in this video let's see what an akshauni means and the 18 people who had brought the armies to the kurukshetra battlefield to fight the mahabharata war Hello everyone, welcome back to Zesty Nimbu. This is Sri Rekha. For all the new viewers, consider subscribing and for all the returning viewers, thank you so much for watching my videos. In my previous video, I had asked which was the mountain on which Lord Parashurama went to do penance on. The answer is Mahendra Parvat or Mahendra Giri. If you have not seen the satellite story on Kurukshetra, then the link is above as well as in the description box below. Go ahead and check it out and wait till the end because I have another question coming up. So what is an Akshauni? What is an Akshauhini has been mentioned in the Adi Parva of the Mahabharata. This recurs in Udyoga Parva, Bhishma Parva, etc. Now we are going to see what an Akshauni actually means. So let's start with the smallest grouping in an Akshauni. Smallest grouping is called a Patti. In a Patti, there is one chariot, one elephant, three horses and five foot soldiers. So these stand together make a patti. So the ratio in a patti which is 1 is to 1 is to 3 is to 5. This remains constant across the battle formations and in the Akshavini. Three pattis make one Sena Mukha. Three Sena Mukha make one Gulma. Three Gulma make a Gana. Three Ganas make a Vahini. And three Vahinis make a Pritana. Three Pritanas make a Chamu. Three Chamus make one Anikini. And finally, 10 Anikinis make one Akshavini. So Akshavini is actually a grouping of all these things put together. Patti, Sena Mukha, Gulma, Gana, Vahini, Pritana, Chamu, Anikini and finally Akshavini. So if you have noticed, one Patti is equivalent to one chariot, one elephant, three horses and five foot soldiers. So this put together is called a Chaturanga. All these things are called Chaturanga Bala. So Chaturanga Bala is actually the precursor to chess, chess that we play today. So in the Mahabharata war, there were 18 Akshavanis. So if you add 18, it is 1 plus 8, 9. The Mahabharata war lasted for 18 days, which is again 9. In an Akshavani, there are 21,870 chariots, 21,870 elephants, 3 times 21,870 which is 65,610 horses and 5 times 21,870 which is 109350, 1,9350 foot soldiers. And if you add all these numbers, which is 21,870, it is again 9, 65,610 which is again 9, 1,9350 1, is again 9. So 9 keeps recurring in the Mahabharata. So if you count all these numbers or multiply all these numbers, you'll get around 40 lakh soldiers who had died in the Mahabharata war. This is but a rough estimate because there were more people who had actually died because if you take into consideration the reserves or the people who had served food, if you take into account the medical staff which used to take care of the injured soldiers, so the whole number would be even more. It is considered that there were crores of people who had actually died in the Mahabharata war. At that time, this was a world war. People from all across the globe had participated in the Mahabharata war. It is mentioned in the Udyoga Parva of the Mahabharata that when the armies were actually moving towards uh, the Kurukshetra battlefield, the sky was completely covered with dust there was no sun the sun was not visible and uh, when the armies had actually arranged themselves in the battlefield the jackals and uh, the hyenas and vultures were actually you know staying in wait because they could smell blood these are scavengers right jackals and hyenas and uh, vultures all these are scavengers so they were actually waiting to drink the blood of the fallen soldiers. So such was the carnage which happened in the Mahabharata war. 
on the pandava side there were seven akshavanis which had participated and on the kaurava side there were 11 akshavanis which had participated so the seven persons who had contributed seven akshavanis of sena to the pandava side were satiki who was yadava king drupad who was the father in law of uh, pandavas and also the king of panchala desha virata raja and parvata raja contributed one akshavani of sena virat raj was the father in law of abhimanyu he was also the king of matsya desha one akshavani was contributed by kk Ra rajkumars or princes one akshavani was contributed by pandya raja and one akshavani was contributed by king of chedi who was the son of shishupala drishtaketu and the last akshavani was contributed by king of magadha the son of jarasandha called sahadeva he was called magadha sahadeva so these were the seven people who had contributed the seven akshavanis to the pandava sena coming to the kauravas there were 11 akshavanis of sena which participated from the kauravas side the first akshavani was contributed by krituvarma he was also a yadava but from a different clan the second akshavani was contributed by bhagadatta who was the king of pragyotishpura karande assam and he was the son of narakasura the third akshavani was contributed by kambhoja raja who was sudakshina the fourth akshavani was contributed by shalya he was actually the king of madra desh and he was the mama of uh, nakula and sadev his sister was married to king pandu the fifth akshavani was contributed by jayadrat of sindhu desh he was the son in law of both kauravas and pandavas he was married to dushala the sixth akshavani was contributed by the king of mahishmati called neel the seventh akshavani was contributed by bhurishrava who was the son of somadatta the eighth akshavani was contributed by the twins called vinda and anuvinda from avanti avanti is in present day ujjain madhya pradesh so the other three akshavanis were formed by combination of many other kings like trigartas like andhras like gandhar the king of gandhar is shakuni so all these and many other people had actually formed the three akshavanis in fact there was a contribution from the kauravas themselves these were the 11 akshavanis which participated from the kauravas side so these 18 akshavanis participated in the mahabharata war which lasted for 18 days so question of the day so there were two only two people across the whole bharat varsha who didn't participate in the mahabharata war can you name those two people put your answers in the comment section i'll tell you the answer in the next video have you watched my other satellite stories and other videos that had spoken on indian culture if not you can see it in the playlist do like share comment and subscribe to my channel go and like my facebook page and tag me with the hashtag hinduism stories at zestini on twitter and instagram do watch my other videos and until then see you